Welcome everyone to more Skyrim Remastered here on Additional Pawns Games. Continuing our let's play with all of the, going through all the Dwemer uh, ruins, including this one here, Tovald's Crossing, Tovald's Cave, that sort of thing. And uh, kind of had to end the episode a little awkwardly last time, just things were getting a little long and not really sure how far we are into the exit, so we're continuing on now. Let's draw our axe, grab ourselves mushrooms, and more mushrooms, and more mushrooms, and... This is a problem. This is a real problem. Because there could be chores hiding in these thingies here. And I don't know where all of the enemy Falmer are. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and change out from steel bolts to dwarven bolts. kind of hear some chittering here's what we're gonna do I s think I see an enemy right through there actually yes all right missed him Action Jackson time, guys. Ugh. One to the knee, one to the neck, and he's down. Chorus Chitin. We can barely not afford to, to pick that up. All right, let's make sure that these guys are dead. Another dead enemy. That's what I thought. I figured that at least one of these pods was going to be inhabited by a uh, hunter fledgling. Let's gather up all the uh, chorus eggs that we can. Again, one of the most valuable things that you can get in alchemy for invisibility potions. They're plentiful. And when you're down here in the muck and the mire, you may as well make some profit, huh? Okay, nothing there. Nothing back there. Good stuff. So it would seem that the water flows down through this river, comes through here, probably goes down there, and then it eventually over flows over top of the um, the dam that we crossed over earlier. Flawless garnet. Nice. That'll be handy for enchanting some good stuff. Again, let's just wreck that. Make sure that no other chorus can pop out. More eggs. That's our exit right there. Warmonger. Ooh. We killed a warmonger in one hit with our with our crossbow. I like that. That's good stuff. I am nervous. Because I feel like there are chores back here. Okay. Best cure for nervousness is just picking up lots and lots of alchemy ingredients. Uh, for those of you wondering about my carry weight, um, I've got a mod on that. That changes up alchemy a little bit, and one of the accidental but happy side effects is that it changes the carry weight of all alchemy ingredients to zero. So... Again, not something I intended, but when I found out about it, I wasn't disappointed. So, we'll roll with it. Uh, 
this moonstone ore might put us. Yeah, there it is. Puts us over the uh, carry weight limit. Figured as much. All right. So let's pick up that fly mantia and then let's drop something else. Um, all these things are pretty good on value. Let's go ahead and drop that shield. That'll buy us some more weight. Okay, just making sure we've got all the eggs possible. So I guess I was wrong about there being chores here, but there's no shortage of, shortage of their eggs, that's for sure. And we are now over top of the dam area that we were at before. Pretty neat. Just wanted to make sure that there was no loot back there or something. Oh no. I feel like that's something that they would do hide like some super epic loot in that waterfall you'd have to go back and like go through the entire dungeon again if you wanted to get it but oh come on come on don't make me ah whatever whatever grab the easy shrooms and to Tovald's cave Weren't we in Tovald's cave earlier? Oh my gosh. Do we really not even like... Wow, that's where we pop out? Man, I don't remember that cave at all. Well, that was quite the adventure. That was a much bigger cave than I thought it would be. Uh, not as much of a Dwemer influence as I thought. Uh, more of a Falmer cave, but still, pretty neat. Pretty cool. I enjoyed that. That was a good, that was a good haul. All right, we're gonna need to go back to, into town and uh, do some buying and selling. So let's do that here in Riften. And then we'll have to set out for another. There is one more, um, there's one more Dwemer Ruins that we can go into that is, uh, that is available to us without doing any of the guild quests or anything like that. And that is actually doing the, um, I don't remember if it's Bathar Dems or Bathar something or other, Bathar Zell. But that's actually the, uh, Daedric quest for Periite. Fancy yourself the adventuring type, eh? It's just as well. I doubt your combat prowess would prove valuable in a real battle anyway. Listen, Hemmick. I would wreck your face with one shot for my cannon. Uh. Okay. Wait a couple hours for the merchants to get up out of bed. Give them a chance real quick. Let's, uh, put on our amulet of Zenith Zenithar. Come to see back. Hmm. Talk to Mr. Very Mustache himself. Pretty much and, anything uh, to get rid of needs. anything. Anything that we can. Um, lightning. Arcage arrows. Steel arrows. Man. We kind of really cleared him out okay so we could get a bunch of smithing ingredients i think that we're okay for now don't really need to be need doing that smithing work come see me again is there anything that we can sell to you take a look 
Necklace, necklace, keep the mage hunter necklace and get rid of that. Safe travels, land strider. Safe travels. I've never seen the old. It all you said about it. Save for yourself. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of. We've got some staffs down here. Get those out of the way. Apparel, all set. Uh, that might come in handy one day. We'll keep that. Extreme. Oh, I thought it said haggling. I was like, potion of extreme haggling. Wait, restores health. Um, Magica. I really don't use poison that much on this character, anyways, so. Battle Red Mountain can go. Talara can go. And everything else can stay. There we go. 15 grand, 265 on the weight limit, but that's, again, largely due to the crossbows that we've picked up. And uh, maybe some Looking crafting ingredients that we've Why also got. Chance? So, easy. Okay, Mule, I know you like me. I know you like me. Okay, I did that. I got Grim Sever for you. That's fine. Um, okay, so we need to head over to da -da -da -da, the Shrine of Periite for the next, next thing. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go in, talk to uh, uh, Kesh, Kesh the Unclean, and ask him what items we need for, uh, for what you call it to make a sacrifice to Perry and commune with him ah a wanderer yes no pilgrim perhaps you have come to commune with Perry taskmaster and belated lord yes uh sure may I commune Not with him everyone has the stomach required to entreat my lord but Kesh likes you friend there is a way Periyat may speak to us who will take him in. Okay. If you wish to commune with him, we'll need the incense. Okay. Tell me about this yes, incense. Yes, the incense. Fetch for me a death bell flower, one silver ingot, a flawless ruby, and some vampire dust. Then I will show you how. Okay. I think we can do that. Let's grab these uh, shrooms while we're here. Flowers. All right. So the... Oh, we've already got Vampire Dust. Great. That's actually one of the ones that I was... We've already got Death Bell. And you know what? If we take a quick trip to our house here in Markarth, I know for a fact that we've got Flawless Ruby and we've got a Silver Ingot. So we can grab those real quick. And then uh, head on back and get done with this uh, with this first part of the uh, Periite quest. So that'll be handy. Uh, the other cool thing about this is that um, the outcome of this quest is that we will gain um, something? Spellbreaker. Uh, it's a shield that basically, again, it, it creates a ward every time you block that damp that uh, blocks spell damage. <laughs> so that'll be cool. Uh, the reason why that's important is because Spellbreaker is actually a Dwemer item. It's actually a Dwemer uh, artifact that Perry adapted and adopted to be his own, uh, to be his own symbol. He, he probably empowered it as well. Um, all right, flawless Ruby. We will take one of those and a silver ingot. One of those. There we go. Deliver the ingredients. Boom. It pays to have a house. Full of jewels, gems, and other precious metals. So, go back to Kesh. Commune with Periite, and then we'll have to clear out this uh, Dwemer ruins that are full of his uh, unfaithful followers. So that, that dungeon honestly takes a little while. So it'll probably be a couple episodes. Yes. I have the items. Ah, have you? Let Kesh have him. There you go, Kesh. Yes. Gonna read that, just to make sure that we... This will create a fine fume. Okay, good. The other good thing about this dungeon is that generally there's not a whole lot of heavy loot in there. The people that are in inside don't have, like, heavy armor and that stuff. Do. Now, inhale deeply. Alright, so, before I inhale, let's, uh, let's be very clear. Kids, 
don't do drugs. All right? With that said, do as I say, not as I do. Breathe deep, mortal. I would have you hear me well. So let these vapors fill your lungs. I have watched you for some time, you know. The decisions you've made intrigue me. And I wonder if you are the proper agent for a task of mine. Sure. Mostly because I have ulterior motives I sent for wanting to get into to this place already. So. A wasting play that infected a scattering of Breton villages. One of my monks, the elf Orchendor, was sent to gather these afflicted. He shepherded them into the Thardoms for me, but has since lost his way. I will not stand for betrayal. I want you to go to the Thardoms and kill Orchendor in my name. You got it, dude. So you have, mortal. Go now. Kill Orchendor. Sounds good. Okay, there we go. So we need to head that way to the next uh, Dwarmer Ruin, and I think... So it's right over there. And, and I think it's actually the last Dwarmer Ruin that's actually available to us outside of... Alright, just checking. We have an empty Black Soul Gym. So that will come in handy. We'll use our crossbow to kill one of these afflicted. And uh, steal their soul for a black soul gem. So that will be good for enchanting and such. When it, whenever the next time I uh, get an opportunity to do so. <clears throat> but yes, I believe that Bethardems is the final... Uh, Dwemer Ruin available to us at this time. Um, outside of the ones that I've spoken about before that are locked behind the uh, quest for... Uh, locked behind the Mages Guild. And locked behind the... Uh, the uh, Thieves Guild. You have to be a part of those... You have to do those quest lines in order to get into Irking Thams for the Thieves Guild. And... Um, Mazulft for the mage skill. So, if you haven't already, be sure to leave a comment below on what you think I should do on those. Should I go into those guilds? It's kind of weird because I said like it's very specifically at the start of the like thieves guild. I could understand like we could we could adapt to that. Even though this is not a thief character, we could do the thieves guild quest line real quick and and go through it, and then we'd be able to get into Urging Thames. But for the Mage's Guild, it's really a problem because this character is built upon the idea of not using magic. So how do we... Uh, maybe the other option too, and you guys can leave a comment down below. The other option is to simply ignore these those last two uh, those last two Dwarmer Ruins. And just basically say, we've done all the ones that are available. And just kind of skip those other two and continue on with the, the other parts of the roleplay. Which basically would be... Us finding Septimus Cygnus and doing um, doing his quest line so that we can get into Blackreach. Which I think is going to be very... Blackreach will be a big thing for us. Because we'll have to go in there, we'll have to clear it out, we'll have to do a lot of stuff. Uh, up there is Deep Folk Crossing. That's uh, one of the Dwemer ruins up there that... Um, that was where... Ooh. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh well, must have run off. I'm going to put you down. All right. So for attacking me for no reason, I decided I was going to just take your soul. So there's that. Um, 
Not really sure why you killed your exact twin brother or something, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, so that Bathardem, or sorry, uh, Batharzel or something like that. Deep Folk Crossing, that was one of the places that we found one of the, um, whatchamacallits, one of the uh, ethereal, one of the uh, ethereum pieces for the ethereal forge quest line, the Lost of the Ages quest line. That was a fun one. All right, sneaking up here, we can now use our cannon, our uh, laser cannon. All right, trying to see if there's any enemies right up here. No. All right, let's see if we can't draw them out. Well, two of them heard something. Oh, there's no use sneaking now. Come on, guys. Come on out. Come on. I need to shoot you. <laughs> oh, it's just too fun. Too fun. Uh, you have absolutely nothing that's really worth taking. This afflicted will take your arrows and your dagger. So again, this is why I wasn't too concerned about carry weight with this uh, with this dungeon. These guys generally just have really, really poor uh, By the way, this is uh, this is basically a statue to Periite. Periite often depicted as a dragon um, which is kind of weird uh, The Taskmaster, basically his personality um, the other thing is that Parite is considered to be one of the weaker Daedric Princes. Which, again, kind of makes the whole uh, dragon thing a little bit strange. Alright, missed on that shot. Ah! There we go. Got him that time. <laughs> Shooting him with my ethereal rifle. Uh, a little ridiculous, but still a lot of fun. Alright, so if you uh, if you try and come here without actually doing the quest line, there's actually like a bunch of vines and stuff covering the door, which prevent you from getting in. So that's why we had to actually come up here. That's why we actually, actually do the Periite quest line in order to get in. Um, I think that there's some loot in here, and I'm pretty sure that that door over to my right is the exit. No? Okay. So there's nothing up here. But, yeah, like I said, that's 99% certain that's the exit, so I'm just not going to even bother. Just hop on down here. Give it a quick save. Check my angles real quick. Okay, okay. Those go down. And we go in. Oh, so those doors are okay, but those doors have a bunch of like overgrown vines and stuff on them. Take that. You can leave the steel sword. Take the dwarven bow for now. Pretty decent weight to value ratio. And this is where we're going to wrap it up for this episode. So, thanks for tuning in. For more, Skyrim Remastered here on Additional Pylons Games. Next time, we'll be heading into the Bathar Dams, clearing it out of all the afflicted, killing Orchendor, and uh, doing a service to Periite. We'll get ourselves a shield as well, fancy shield from it, and uh, another artifact. And we'll have cleared all of the accessible, uh, I believe, all the accessible Dwemer ruins uh, once we've cleared this one out. So, Thanks again for tuning in. For more Skyrim Remastered here on Additional Pylons Games, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what you think we should do about the whole Mage's Guild and uh, Thieves' Guild thingamajig. And uh, we'll see you again soon here on Additional Pylons Games.